This is the most powerful bug in Minecraft 1.21. It can allow you to make unbreakable blocks, ban people from servers and create custom items that are linked to each other. In fact, this exploit is so powerful that if used incorrectly, it can crash your game and the server you're playing on. You see, a few months ago, I got a message from JKM and MetaCinnabar telling me they had discovered something interesting. Intrigued, I jumped into a call with them and what they showed me left me speechless. They had turned a skulk sensor into a wireless update suppressor. The original design had some flaws, like getting kicked all the time and not being able to break it after placing it. But after I saw this thing, I immediately knew that with a bit of work, it was going to be the biggest exploit today. So I asked them if I could do some research and got to work. Over a month of research and development, I turned this novel and unpolished setup into 15 different suppression channels, each of them with their own triggers and functionalities, creating in the process the most powerful exploit I had ever encountered. The channels each represent the sound frequency from the skull sensor. By changing the redstone input in this special part here, we can filter out sounds to get only the ones we want. Now. To build a suppressor, the first thing that you're going to need is another suppressor. Which is a little bit tedious, but I have a lot of videos in my channel explaining how to build them. When you have the suppressor, you need to build a specific setup that I have right here and connect the top carpet to your suppressor. When all of that is done, place yourself in front of the door with a diamond hoe. As soon as the door closes, start breaking the block. When it opens, it will break the skull sensor and trigger the suppression. Now, let the server catch up for a few minutes and then break the door and place a comparator. After that, place the lectern where you are standing and give it a book with 15 pages. When you're done, go around and place a chest so that the comparator is facing to the back of the chest. And with that, I think it is now time to talk about the 15 different suppressions. You see, each one of those suppressions corresponds to a sound channel in the skull sensor, meaning you can tune the suppressor to listen to specific sounds to suppress the different things like eating, dying or training. Most of these aren't really useful, but there are 5 fresh suppressions that take this exploit to the next level, and I'm going to start with the biggest one Imagine Mode. Number 1. Creating Unbreakable Blocks Imagine all of the times that you've created a well-fortified base with a ton of redstone security features just for your friends to dig up a hole next to it and break an entrance. Well now, with the suppressor set to the 12th channel, every block that's in range will become unbreakable. I think this feature alone would make this exploit the most useful in existence, since we've been implementing this very feature with mods since 1.8. But this is not the only crazy feature that it has, which brings me to the next exploit. Number 2. Duplication. Now that you have a way to prevent people from entering your vaults, you should definitely build one. And since with the new suppressor you can directly duplicate all of the blocks you place in range, you can make your builds as big as you want without ever running out of materials. Just place suppressors so that the walls are in range and place as many blocks as you want. For the next exploit is something you guys have been asking me for a really really long time and that is Number 3. Small Update Suppressor Finally, after some time, I bring you a compact update suppressor 
that you can use for your custom portals and end up light farms. And it is surprisingly easy to create. Using the channel for activating and deactivating blocks, we can build this contraption that will activate every time an update is captured by this redstone line. The one thing you need to keep in mind is not to build close to this as blocks such as pistons getting activated could crash the server. So try to place your stuff 15 or so blocks away from this thing. Now let me show you how it works. As you guys can see we have suppressed the floating levers. Let's continue with the next exploit, which is something so popular that Mojang tried to fix it in the same update. Number 4. Shadow Items They were discovered back in October of 2021 and they are finally back in 1.21, which brings back an infinite amount of possibilities. And with the new crafter block, might bring a lot of really interesting new contraptions. First thing you're going to need is an armor stand with hands. Don't worry if you're unable to do this in your server, I'll show you other ways of doing this in a new video coming soon. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe. Next thing, build this setup with the suppressor set to 4. Last thing you got to do is to get the item and give it to the armored stand and now hit the trapdoor and when it reaches the end, take it the item again and you will have two shadow items. Let me show you. The last great exploit of this suppressor is number 5, making invisible exclusion areas. But instead of telling you how cool this is, I'm working on a video with other people to show you. If you feel like you want more information about this sound suppressor, you should check my discord, I have some special documents talking all about it. This has been all, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!